So we're here on the 26th of November, right here at the Planet Computers headquarters. Hello, Hi. hello. Hi. So what's the latest? So just a quick update. So uh, the production is nearly over. So we've produced over 3,000 devices and uh, we're now uh, fin finalizing the production this week to get to 4,000. Uh, as you know, the number of backers, actual number of Cosmos is about 3,100. So we're very close to fulfilling all the backers. Then some units will go to the distributor and uh, then some uh, units are for the store. So basically, uh, you know, we're nearly there. We're over 75% there. How did they go uh, with the mass production? Everything went smoothly? There was lots of uh, checking was, and stuff? Well, uh, there were was, there was some issues, uh, you know, we, there were some issues with uh, quality which we uh, result in the some, beginning, right? Yes, some took longer yeah. than others. Um, and uh, and uh, I don't want to go too much into that. But you know, basically they are resolved. So uh, uh, so the device is here. Um, and of course, so what has the feedback the the because you say already 1000s of backers have it? How's yes. it going with the feedback? So there are about 3,000 devices, no, probably between two and a half and 3,000 devices that are either in backers' hands, in the warehouse, or on in with the courier companies going towards the backers. There was a lot of announcements. I, I actually personally met three people today who have their tracking numbers today for UK devices, which is quite fun. Uh, and. Uh, and so there's a bunch of devices that went to firstly to Japan, then to the States, then some Verizon devices have gone to the States, then some devices to Germany, then to the UK. So basically, uh, and, and the, the, the other countries will follow, particularly the Nordics, Netherlands, Czech Republic, which still have reasonable quantities. And unfortunately, because they're the smaller editions, they are coming closer to the tail end. And then there are some countries which are really right at the tail end, like uh, Greece, Croatia, etc. So uh, which only have a few units that have been ordered. Right? Greenland, so, no, I'm joking. Greenland, they have a new Greenland <laughs> language, right? Yeah, they probably use the Danish keyboard there. Because yeah, well, it's all well, about the keyboards, Danish, right? We have Danish, we have Icelandic, we have Norwegian. And uh, yes, actually, we. So, so there's, there's quite a few. Because once you're in the EU with the devices, you can ship all over the EU. Yeah, so for the EU, we are actually uh, importing the dev devices into the UK and then shipping them out from the UK. So it's a bulk shipment from Hong Kong to the UK. And then from the, from the UK, we're shipping with the courier companies. So essentially, you don't have to pay for any more duties or those things. That, and that's all included for in the shipping for relatively small uh, project so thus far, you have so many keyboard options, right? How many total? Well, this is our unique uh, point. You know, we have something like 20, 26, 27 Different keyboard, keyboard options. Layouts. And you know, if you look at if you look at this, this is the Japanese. Uh, this is the Japanese uh, keyboard. But you have a way. You just you can you can just put the keyboards easily. You can just laser. What's it called? So paint them, these, or what's it called? These keys are actually uh, translucent, so they are translucent, and then they are painted black and then lasered back to the translucency. So whereas they have to the, be placed in the right place. The Gemini, this is the Cosmo keyboard. The Gemini keyboard was actually made out of a, the keys were made out of special material. So when you laser them, they turn white. Whereas these keys are white themselves, then they're painted black and then they laser back to white. Which, so is, which is for the backlight, which you so need the for the So the transparent part is actually different for each of the 26 layouts? Yeah, they're lasered. Uh, they're they're lasered with different programs. So basi basically you have different programs. So there's like, I don't know, 1500 uh, US keyboards lasered, then, you know, uh, I don't know, 1500 Japanese keyboards lasered. And when you talk about laser, number. it means lasering the, the transparent part where the light comes through? Or so you laser the from the top. So basically, the laser is going from the top, and it's kind of writing on the keys, and basically like uh, cutting through the black paint. So that's uh, kind of how it works. And so, can you say a little bit more about the um, the response so far? Maybe you can st stand up. Uh, so how how happy are, are those users? Like, is there like a? It's uh, very early days, but we've, days. We've, we've we've had some very positive remarks. We've had some concerns. Um, and 
you know, I think, I think in general it's quite positive, but as it's too early to tell, you know, uh, how the response is, but I would think it's, uh, it's pretty good so far. Um, uh, of course, the early users are pointing out to certain uh, firmware, firmware troubles and uh, we will be a, a releasing a firmware update, uh, removing some of the bugs that people have found. Um, probably in about uh, between next week and the week after. So that will impact both the outside screen and the, and the, uh, uh, the cover display and the main screen. Uh, and uh, also within that update we will have the landscape mode for the uh, cover display. So that's, so that's the new thing that's coming in. So when you rotate the device, it will actually rotate to, it will rotate to the landscape, which this one doesn't, because this is uh, the current firmware. What's the latest with Linux? So I will let our CTO, uh, Dr. David Guidi, talk about that. All right, so let's uh, check up on him. Yes, we will. Let's see where he is. And hi. Hi. Hi, David. So yes. you're the CTO, right? Yeah, that's correct. And uh, how is it going with the Cosmo communicator right here? It's going, uh, it's going very good. It's very interesting. Um, so on one side, we uh, started uh, shipping the units. So let's say from the hardware point of view, everything is ready. And from the software point of view, on the Android side, uh, we are basically there. Now our efforts are on the uh, Linux side. And I would like to show you um, as a uh, technical preview, uh, some of the work we are, we are doing at the moment. And in particular, um, I would like to show you the improvements we have done for um, basically installing Linux on the device. So this is not final yet. Uh, it's, it's something that is working, but uh, we still need a bit of time to uh, iron out all the uh, outstanding bugs and just making the UI as beautiful as possible. Uh, but just for you to know, um, we try to, um, this is an Android version, I'm going to restart the unit now. Just want to show you what will, will probably be the user experience uh, of how to turn an uh, Android-only device into an uh, Android and Linux. So basically you reboot the unit in recovery mode, you unlock the recovery mode, and then you have uh, the recovery menu. And, uh, we modified the recovery menu, we added a couple of uh, actions. And the first one is how to change the partition table of your Cosmo, which means how to reserve space for both Android and Linux. So I'm going to give you a quick demo. I'm not going to do it, otherwise I will uh, erase my data. But uh, of course, there is a nice warning message to be sure that you know what you're doing. And the idea here is you can uh, reserve space for uh, Android and Linux. So you can res reserve all space for Android, 30 gigabytes for Linux and the rest for Android, 60 gigabytes for both Linux and Android, um, 90 gigabytes for Linux and something 30 gigs for Android, and finally reserve all the space, all the storage for Linux. So I'm not gonna do that because I already done it, but this is basically one operation that the user will have to do if they want uh, once uh, when they when they prepare the device, but after they and don't need to flash anything special. This will be part of the default kind of, or do you need to flash a specific firmware to have access to this? Uh, no, they will not need to flash uh, the firmware. This will come as a uh, firmware update, and there will be the possibility to do it. So you don't need an external uh, a computer like before, um, like for the Gemini, and uh, and you can do it just uh, just out of the box. Uh, now, apart from this, we have a second option, <coughs> which is install a custom OS on your Cosmo. So this will allow you to install an extra um, a custom OS, which at the moment will be stored in SD card. So basically, you can um, download the software, place it on SD card, and after that, you can uh, you can basically activate it. And here you can. So, for example, at the moment in my SD card, I have three options. I have TWRP, which is the Team uh, Win Recovery Project. I have Debian, and I have a rooted Android version. So the idea is that uh, this will be uh, a dynamic option. So if uh, uh, hopefully in the next few months we'll have more options or updates. So you can always download your software, and through this menu you will discover uh, new functionalities. 
And uh, so suppose you want to install a TWRP, the next option will be to choose um, a boot image uh, as a destination. So uh, the very first time, if I, do a, um, if I reserve the space, I will have three options, which are something like empty boot 2, boot 3, and boot 4. And once I select, and here I've already done it, when I select uh, empty boot 2, for example, um, the partition name will be changed to the um, custom OS I'm installing. So in this time, I have TWRP here, rooted Android and Debian. So once this is done, now the, uh, the Cosmo is a dual boot one. And uh, when I reboot the system, uh, we'll see now a different UI, uh, which is uh, sort of similar to Grab for uh, people, or to Lilo, for people that comes from, uh, from the Linux world. There is an auto boot, and uh, you can stop the auto boot, like I've done at the moment. The UI, the UI is not uh, final at the moment, but basically you can see you have different options. You can choose a normal boot, recovery one, uh, TWRP, Linux, Android, and so on. So I'm going to choose uh, Linux, Android. Sorry, I'm going to choose a Debian boot. And this, again, is some uh, early software provided by our uh, community. But it will show you a very, very minimal uh, Linux version up and running on the Cosmo. As you can see, there is still Gemini as a name. Uh, but uh, this device is, uh, is clearly a Cosmo communicator, right? And uh, if I can click on the tap on the button. So yeah. this needs to be a little bit optimized just for the t touch screen a little bit, Oh, maybe. yes. It's, as I said, it's early days. Uh, but basically, what you can see straight away is that uh, the performance on this device, I believe they are, uh, uh, they are quite good. They are better on the Gemini. So if I move, for example, this window around, you would see that it's the lag like. is, uh, is, is quite minimal and is, uh, uh, I guess, much better than the Gemini. Is it using the Panfrost uh, GPU driver, Mali? That's a good question, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to come back to you. <laughs> for Hopefully, this. the development on, on the open source Mali is g is getting along, right? Definitely, the the last, the uh, over the last year. Yes, the development is still uh, quite much underway. So, on, on for the Cosmo on all sides. So we are expecting to see uh, to see much more. A community is very active. They are they are literally assisting it, uh, assisting us every day. Um, so it's, it's, it's all good, and uh, hopefully we will be able to do this, uh, to provide this very soon. And uh, maybe a recommended way to do is to have a little uh, uh, Bluetooth mouse or something like that, or a Type-C mouse and, mouse, and then you yes. you all set, right, for the Linux Yes, Linux, uh, Debian is, is, not a, is, is a desktop-oriented uh, sort of distribution, so with the mouse uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty much easier to use rather than... Uh, uh, rather than using tapping on the on the screen. Nice, so lots of stuff happening, and perhaps also some Android updates and stuff happening also. Yes, we are working on uh, multiple fronts, and uh, yes, hopefully we'll have some more exciting news uh, soon.